This video demonstrates how to start the Cradle Workbench tool and how to log in and log out from Cradle databases. The main Cradle tool is Workbench. It is installed in the Programs list. It is also available in the Cradle Program group. The Program group also contains Cradle documentation. The documents include user guides for all Cradle tools and tutorials that provide step-by-step -step instructions. In this video, we start Workbench from a shortcut pinned to the Start menu. To log into Cradle, you enter a username, a case-sensitive password, and a code that identifies the database you want to use. The first time you start Workbench, these details are provided, so you simply click Login to log into the demonstration database, demo. This is the Workbench UI. There are two ways to log off, both in the Home tab. Exit, which closes the tool, and Log off, which closes the tool and redisplays the login dialog so you can log in again. We will look at both of them. To close Workbench, select, Log off. Workbench is closed and the login dialog appears so you can log in again. There are several login accounts for the demonstration project, demo, that we provide with Gradle. To see them, select, Help. This is the login that we used before. Its password is REQMAN, in uppercase. From now on, we always need to enter a password, in this case, REQMAN, in uppercase. This time, select, exit, workbench closes and the login dialog does not appear. You can create many databases. Each has its own set of login accounts. Each database has a four character code set when the database was created. Click here to see the databases available to you. Only one database is installed with Cradle, Demo. This Cradle system has many databases to choose from. For example, we choose the database mark and login with the username user, created inside that database. The title of this database and our username are shown in the window legend. Now, log off. To log back into Demo, enter the code Demo and a username and password defined in the Demo database. For example, username REQMAN, with password REQMAN, in uppercase. We log off again. As the final part of this video, we demonstrate sessions. You can save sessions and use them when you log in. A session will record how the Workbench UI has been split into panes, and the contents of each pane. Sessions are a type of definition. There are many types of definition in Gradle. Definitions can be saved with different scopes, some personal to you, others shared within a team, or within a database. We provide two sessions that are available for all users in all databases. We choose one session and use it to configure the Workbench UI when we log in. The session has split the UI into two panes. A query has been run automatically in the upper pane, and the lower pane is empty. So, sessions automatically initialize the UI with your preferred content and layout. This can save you time each time that you log in. We log off again to end this short demonstration. Thank you for watching this video. We hope it has been helpful. For more information, please visit our website, or contact us using the details on the screen.